Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sunday. Today we are going to tell you a story that starts off sad. Can you show them your sad face? Starts off sad, then it's happy, and then it's sad again, and then it's happy again. So we are going to read this sad, happy story from the New Testament book of Luke chapter 17. So this is the story about 10 lepers. Can you say lepers? Lepers. Lepers. Lepers, not leopards, not the animal, a leper. Can you show me 10 fingers? Show me 10 fingers. Lepers, so there's 10 lepers. All right. As Jesus entered a village, he saw 10 men in the distance. Show me 10 men, 10 fingers. These men were very sick. They had a disease called leprosy. Can you say leprosy? Leprosy. All right, so leprosy made their skin very itchy. Act like you're itching your skin. Have you ever had super itchy skin? Yeah. Yeah, it does not feel good to have super itchy skin. And it made them have scratches all over their skin and their skin did not look very healthy. How sad, so yeah, these men were really sad. Can you show your sad face or make a sad face? These men were very sad. These 10 men, show your 10 fingers. Can you show 10 fingers, Gracie? These 10 men knew that Jesus could heal them. So they cried out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Can you say have mercy on us? Have mercy on us. All right, so here's these 10 men. You see have these 10 on. lepers. And a lot of times leper, lepers would wrap their sores so other people couldn't be exposed to them. And so that's what these men have done. The 10 men, so show me your 10 fingers, were asking Jesus to heal them. Jesus looked at the men and said, go show yourself to the priest. A priest is a, like kind of like a pastor, like Pastor Dan. Go show yourself to a priest. It seems like a weird command, but the 10 men obeyed Jesus. So show me your 10 fingers again. 10 fingers. So all 10 men went to fall, go, go show the priest. Yeah. So they went and on their way, suddenly... They, start, they were healed of their leprosy. So do you think they're still sad? You think the men are still sad? No, their leprosy was constant. They were happy. How happy the 10 men were. So after these 10 men, what would happen if you were really, really sick and then all of a sudden you got better? Do you think you would be happy? Yeah. Would you want to thank Jesus for making you help happy and thank Jesus for making you healthy? I would, but guess I what? Would. Only one man, can you show me one finger? One, only one man went back. So when one of the men saw that Jesus had healed him, the man went back to Jesus. Yeah, that's right, Grace, one man. And he shouted, praise God. Can you say praise God? Praise God. The man was so happy. 
So, how many men did Jesus heal? How many men? Ten. Show me your ten fingers. Ten men were healed. And how many men thanked God? One. One. So, is there someone that you should say thank you to? Yeah, everybody. Everybody? What do you mean? Everybody if they do something nice to you. Yeah? Maybe, is there something that you can be thankful for? How can you thank Jesus today? What can you be thankful for to Jesus today? Pray. Huh? Pray. Praying, yeah, you can pray and thank Jesus for things. What's something that we can be thankful for? Yeah, doggy. Dogs, yes. We don't have a dog, but maybe if you have a dog, you can be thankful for dogs. And we can be thankful for other people's dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? What else can we be thankful for? Okay. Um, basketball. Basketball, sports, yeah, we're thankful for sports. What else, do you, Titus? Hmm. Cats, animals, yeah, Titus candy. really likes animals and candy. Grace <laughs> likes bottles and passies, right? <laughs> and we're thankful for bad. bottles and passies. And bed and our house and fans, right? We're so thankful for all the things and that God has given us. That's right. And, and food. I'm thankful for food. And markers. And markers, and yeah, and arts and crafts. What else? Tell me something My else. Your, TV. The TV, yeah. What else are we thankful for? Bibles. Bibles, yeah. That's something that we're really thankful for. What about your family? Your family. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to think of some things that you're thankful for and talk about it with your family. All right, so now we're going to do our memory verse. So Titus wanted to show them in your Bible. All right, so our memory verse today is Psalm 118.1, and it is, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. All right, so everybody stand up. Red cheeks. Come here, Gracie, let's sing our song. Dude, I have red cheeks. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all can put your plates away so we can sing our song. Mom, I put my guy on the red cheeks. All right, you ready? I want to sing my song. Okay, you ready? It goes like this. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Clap, clap. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, to the Lord for he is good. And where is that from? Psalm 118. Psalm 118.1. All right, so do it again. You ready? Give thanks Thank to the you. Lord for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Good job. Psalm 118, verse 1. Good job. All right, now we're going to sing another song. It goes like this. Jody Cameron. No, that's what we just say. Oh, I remember, of course. All right, you ready, Titus? You know this one. Gracie, you know this one. You ready? If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. All right, now what comes next? Stomp your feet. You ready? If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. Yes, yes. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're thankful and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're thankful and you know it, say amen. 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 If you're thankful and you know it, shout amen. thankful and you know it, shout amen. Amen! Now, if you're thankful and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, oh, one, stomp, two, stomp. Amen! If you're thankful and you know it, do all three.
know it do. I'm thinking. the ten lepers do? Um, yeah, so, yeah. They were sick. Yeah, leprosy is when you're, their, their skin was all yucky and they were super sick and they went and found Jesus. You're right, Titus. And when they found Jesus, what did Jesus do for them? He healed them. He healed them. So then on their way to go see the priest, they were healed. How many men came back? One. One man came back and thanked God. So I want you to think of some things that you are thankful for today. So talk about it with your family, maybe your big brother or sister or mom or dad or grandpa. And you can talk about those things that you are so thankful for today. I have to do that too because sometimes I'm not, I'm not very positive and I need to be more positive. So today I'm going to be thinking about the things that I am thankful for with you. So thank you for joining us today. We pray that you have a great, great day. You say bye. 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 <laughs> I'm going <laughs> on your dog.